and watching him on the court, we was listening to it in the music. And then at that time, it was like, what, the locks? It was Beanie Siegel, and like, <laughs> no, that, no, 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 I mean, it was a while ago, but you know what I'm saying, like, y'all laughing, y'all laughing, but like, Beanie Siegel, that was like my favorite rapper, like, y'all like, understand, this is a legend right here, like, Beanie Siegel, there's no reason to laugh, like, he can rap anybody right now, he can put a mic in his hand, trust me, so, Jada Kiss, oh man, I can wait on this, it doesn't matter, but the whole point is, these guys was like, just the, the dedication to the craft, like you understand. So, music, fashion, art, and like you know what I mean. Like being an athlete, like it's all the same. I feel like if you don't put that work in, nothing, you know, it's not gonna happen for you. But like also, wait back to your point with like the artists and like how people really don't see us as artists. I feel like, like. Every time you think of artists, you think of like an old white dude, not like two young black boys coming out of Philadelphia. Exactly, and I don't like that because when I meet people, they'll be like, oh. No, you a rapper? They literally, <laughs> or, yeah, or they literally think we're rappers. Yeah. I sometimes I'll tell them, like, shit, yeah, I'm rapping. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to 16 right now. Like, I'm talking about these old, old white women. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll walk up to me and be like, you look good. Are you a rapper? And I'm like, no, I'm actually a fine artist. I think you want to see some work. And they're like, oh, wow, to take some back. But it's funny, and we joke about that. But honestly, should it even be that stipulation? Like, should you look at me and automatically just judge me based on how I carry myself? Or, you know, I, we're gonna we're gonna talk. I'm gonna say something. You know, people might take the wrong way now, but there are even people in my genre in art that don't take me serious or look at me a certain way because of the, of the way I dress or the way I act, the way I walk into a room. You know what I'm saying? Because once again, oh, are you a rapper? So it's a certain presence when you walk into a room. The people, not necessarily that they don't like, they just will automatically put you in a box. So I'm like, uh, I could also act this other way, but I'm not going to. It's like, why would I? Like where I'm from, I'm just gonna. Yourself be myself. Right. Seriously. So how would you say that growing up in Philly has shaped you and shows in your art? Or does it? No, it, it definitely does. It, um, all right, so I grew up this way. My mom was a model. Half of my time growing up was in the house with her, listening to house music, looking at old Vogue and Elle magazines. The other half of my life was outside on the block with my homies, with my friends, my big cousins aunties, cousins, uncles, running up and down the street, playing football, on the street, getting scars, abrasions, everything. You know, my mom hollering at me when I come in, like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So my mom will put me in front of the, the paintbrush, you know what I mean, put me in the after school classes. So that was like the, the, I guess, the difference. It was both of those. So that was like my dual ship in growing up. And I use that to my advantage in my art because it shows because yes, I can go to the, like, the highest level, of whatever, and take my mind there. But at the same time, I'm gonna give you an edgy, raw, street version of it because like that's where I'm from. And it just showed me from growing up, but also just like existing in this world, it's better for me to hold on to that and bring that with me than to get rid of it. Because I'm not gonna lie, when you're younger, we don't talk about this a lot, but we're always taught to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta, man, you too, you know what I'm saying, you too street, man, you gotta get rid of that, man, because you know, these people in these offices, blah, 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 and then I'm looking at people, First, I'm looking at this guy do whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> For years. Hold on, what I, what I, um, I got fine today. Well, one moment, what dog here? Um, what, I, what I tell you, what I tell you all the time when everybody always telling me to do something else. I do what I want to do. You have one time. You have one time. You have one chance at this thing. Man, I do what I want to do. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to laugh my ass off every day. I'm going to laugh and I'm going to love. I'm going to live, I'm going to laugh, and I'm going to love every single day. Exactly. Uh, Gianni, last question for you. Do you I think... Need, um, um, no, no, no. I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. I, no, I want you to know that it's all right. It's all right. Man, live your life, man. Live your life. Live. Man, what I what I say, get ready, uh what do I say in my in my shit? Oh, man. Get busy living or get ready. Uh, get busy dying. Do that. Alright, so all these quotes you should write down and like make a book. And put these out. Oh, it's coming. I got five kids, man. I need them. You look good quotes. I gotta I I gotta I gotta do something for them. When I because I they be thinking I be joking when I say I ain't gonna die. 
I can't imagine it. <laughs> because, because look, and and this some this just authentic talk. How is heaven? How is heaven? Do I need the mic? Yeah. 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 How how is heaven heaven when the people you love not there? Oh. If your kids not there, how is it heaven? How is it the greatest place ever? if the people that you love not there. That's why I don't believe in, I believe in it because my nana taught me that. My grandma <laughs> taught me that. So I believe there is a heaven. But I just don't understand the people, it's people in here that love the hell out of me. But how is it heaven if y'all ain't there? I think hell is Everything that you hate. I don't like spiders. I don't like leeches. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like the fact that my girl would be with another man. You know what I mean? And I think that hell. I know what hell is. I think everybody hell is their own hell. Everything that you dislike will go on constantly, over and over and over and over and over again. But I ain't got no grip on what heaven is because I don't know how you can go to heaven and all the people That's like y'all ain't coming with me. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna be no Sixers fans up there. <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna be no Allen Iverson fans. Ain't gonna be my kids. Ain't gonna be no Tawana Iverson. Ain't gonna be no Gary Moore. So how is it? How is it? Heaven. So, while we here right now, let's party. Let's love. Let's have fun. Let's look at each other. Let's dap each other up. Let's pound each other. You know what I mean? Let's respect each other. Let's honor each other. And do that. You know what I mean? Because we don't know. Like I just told you, my best friend, my best friend, 2001, the same year I went to the final, one more. A man put bullets in his in his heart and got rid of him. Mm. I still gotta look at his family, still gotta look at his sons. This motherfucker is hard out here, man. Mm. And I love y'all for coming out here and supporting this and, and, and doing what y'all do. I love y'all. This ain't nothing, this this nothing about. This is nothing but God. This ain't nothing but God. And he worked. But I promise y'all, the devil a bad motherfucker. Oh, yeah. God crossed the goddamn, he always crossed the finish line first. But it's always that punk motherfucker right behind him. <laughs> he always yeah. there. The yeah. devil always there. Love y'all. Love y'all. I'm done. <laughs>